Good morning everyone. Today we'll be using um, the Big Shot an awful lot for this card. We'll be making a baby card. Now what we're going to do is start off with some Daffodil Delight and I've used a sheet of A4 cardstock and I've just cut it to the length of this um, scallop circle die which is the huge um, scallop one and I'm only going to leave one, two, three, four Oh. Yeah, around just making it even. So you see one, two, three, four, five scallops, and it's only half or a third of the smaller ones. So I'm going to put that through the beach, and what we get is the card. So we are going to use this as the base of the card. Okay, now from the polka dot um, designer series paper pack, I've got this Daffodil Delight range. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to so I've cut a full 12 by 12, uh, a full 12 inch by two and three eighths, and we're going to grab the big rosette designer rosette die, and I'm going to use the side that has. The scallop punch out bit. I think it's such a beautiful, a beautiful design. All right, so I'm going to place that like that. Now the trick is with this, if you want to get, I don't have a shim, so if you want to get the scored area, you need to put a shim down. So I've just created my own shim by using a 12 by 12 um, designer series paper and I'm just going to put sandwich that in between underneath this and the plastic um, cover. Unsure what I've met, what I have said. That's the plastic cover. That's the bottom. Here's the shim. There's the die. And here's the top section. Okay, so all I've done is use my bone folder to reinforce all of the um, the mountain folds. All right, so all I needed was one sheet because I'm only going to do. I'm going to make a carriage, and I'm going to only use three like a quarter of that scallop like that. Okay. Okay, so just using a pencil, I've marked whereabouts I want the dolly to stay. So I put approximately here. That's how I want like the pram carriage to look like. So all I want to do is cut out that section. So I just penciled that out and just following with my paper snips, the pencil line. Just being as gentle as possible. Okay, so that's how I'm going to have my dolly line. I'm going to actually snip off this one section and I'm going to place sticky strip on that side and that side. Okay, you've seen I've put sticky strip on here, but what I will do too, because I have made this card in the past. I'm going to put a couple of strips of sticky strip for the peaks of the die cut to stick to because it is just one of those cards that I don't want to use like Tombow or I don't want to use like a hot glue gun so the sticky strip I still find is quite substantially strong enough to hold the peaks of the this die cut. So I've taken all the backing off the sticky strips from the die cut and the card so everything now has to be done carefully. Now I'm going to line that up like that and bunching that up here and bringing that down. I have not pressed yet down which I'm about to do, just sticking that down and pressing that down. 
and now because of the sticky strip that's going to be quite firm down isn't that fantastic okay so it's starting to come together okay so now in front of me I have another big stock extra large big sty and this is the border chic I think it was border chic or tasteful trim and I'm going to use this top section here where it's the large scallops and so I'm grabbing a piece of white whisper white card stock and I'm going to run that through the big shot okay so this is the border that's come out and I'm going to adhere that down along here just like that okay so now I've created a double trim by using the big scallops twice now because you can't see it um, in that section where I'm going to put the ribbon I've just done a whisper white satin ribbon this is no longer in stock and you're not going to be able to see the section where I've double layered that so I'm going to stick that ribbon there with some glue okay so that's that now it's time to start putting the wheels together so I will do front and back of these wheels on both the front cardstock and the back of the alright so I've cut out with we'll punch out with one inch with daffodil delight punch outs I've got four beautiful little flower um, buttons from the designer buttons oh, this is from the brights collection and now I've got my three quarter inch punch if you don't have your little yellow buttons all you could do is use your flower from the itty bitty punch pack I've just got my little oh here's my little girl Taja she decided to join us and I'm just gonna do this four times you count Taja one two three four do you want to have a little wave and show your little hands here you're going to show your little hands do a little wave that's her little hands okay, so once I've mentioned that I um, to do the itty bitty packs I actually thought that might be a better idea than the buttons but we'll see so I'm going to stick these all together one by one and get them all ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've actually got some pearls and I'm going to put the pearls in the middle of the wheels. So I'm going to put four of them down. It's five o'clock in the morning at my house and the whole house is awake. We're, we're quite early birds in this house. Is that it? And Taja is very noisy. Whether it's night, morning or day, you'll hear her all the time. And you'll especially hear my little girl if she's not getting her own way. It's her latest two-year-old self. Alright, now I'm going to position these like wheels. Now the trick I found, because I have made this card before, is to sticky strip only the top half of it. And I did the front first. Okay, so I've stuck those down. Now I'm going to flip it over and put it on the back section. Now taking the sticky strip off, which is hard to do, I'm just following and pressing it down exactly where the front wheels are because you can see them like that. Alright, so it's just following the theme through the back. Now I don't feel like I'm finished so I'm just going to pop some of the same pearls through and continue just on the scallops where it lies just a couple of pearls on the scallop section just to bling it up a little bit more and I think they're kind of 
finishes it just a little bit. Um, I just like, I love my bling. So I've just, okay, so I want to finish the card inside as well. So what I want to do is I want to just match it off. And I just want to find the crease where I'm going to trim against, which is there. So cutting that section off, I might use my paper, my cutter, just making sure it matches up. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down, but I'm going to use this side because it's the subtle side. Oh, I know, I do like that side too, but I think it might be much. Okay, so following the theme on the inside, using the other side of the... Alright, so that card's now finished. So thank you for watching Thank Card It's Friday. I hope it inspires you to make some little baby carriage cards. I think these are gorgeous. And just to use basically your dies. I know there was no stamping in this, so I do apologise, but I just want to keep it like this I could I have got baby stamps but I think this is just gorgeous so thanks for watching and I hope you have a lovely weekend happy paper